Don't you need more mechanics there? <laughs> um, yeah, on some of the jobs I have needed help, um, but it is a big Land Rover show. I've asked for help and I, I've certainly got plenty of it. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think next time we would probably get a couple more just to speed things up really. Yeah. Um, but all the jobs I've done here are something that you can do at home when you drive anyways. And that's kind of the purpose of what we've tried to do yeah. is to simulate some yeah. of the, uh, you know, the real Land Rover user in yeah. their own garage. So we haven't bought oxycetylene torches, no. compressors, impact wrenches. Um, and it's not been as much fun for you to not have all that <laughs> stuff, but at the same time, we've come across some of the problems and yeah. issues that you yeah, can yeah. have working by yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, so ideally, you know, if you do have friends out there who'll help, and in the Land Rover community, particularly to show, there are plenty yeah, of people yeah. who will help. But a lot of it is possible by yourself. Yeah, it? definitely. So, um, basic health and safety, don't lift axles by no, yourselves, no. I guess. Um, and I suppose that leads on to the next question. What has gone wrong this weekend, along the way, that I should be aware of? So I'm guessing what the person's saying, they're about to start doing a rebuild or something. What, what have we found that's been a challenge that, uh, that they could be aware of? I think I'd strongly recommend um, just as much preparation as you can. Mm. Be that if you are doing it on your own vehicle, just a couple of days beforehand, go out and soak everything you can with WD-40 mm. or whatever else that you're using, but all the bolts, all the nuts, um, and just try and get as much on there. Go out there the next night and do it again. Go out there the next night and do it again, because it makes a huge difference. It really does. And then when you do come to it, you've then got it there. Be prepared for sap, nuts, bolts, and problems, and whatever else. So don't give yourself a too tight a deadline. Um, yeah. Allow for problems. Yeah. Double your deadline and a bit more, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that's great advice. I mean, in terms of most of the things here have gone more or less as you expect them to go yeah. on a Land Rover. There are some things that that we haven't been able to achieve. One of them is to remove the swivel housings because yeah. in that instance, we're going to need, as you say, to yeah, soak the nuts for a long time uh, or to put some heat on, which has just not been possible no. uh, to ensure during the show. No, especially on a wood floor. Yes, quite. <laughs> um, and that's really it, isn't it? And the, uh, yeah. Everybody has different problems, but Land Rovers are intrinsically just nuts and bolts. Yeah. don't want to come off. Yeah, no, um, sometimes you're lucky and you get a couple of easy ones, but mm. the rest of it there, all good. And I think uh, if I had a tip, it's always have lots of plastic boxes around, more oil comes out than you think. Oh, yes. And uh, we're okay here because this wooden floor is not ours, but uh, you might be cleaning up your garage floor for quite a while. Definitely.